So, you know how everyone knows the Zionists are controlling the media worldwide? No. What I think is ironic about that is Zionism itself is a construct designed to divide humanity. Along with Christianity, Islam, totally fake, set up to cause conflict among humans. And, uh... Who set up these constructs to cause humanity into conflicts amongst humans? The reptiloids. Oh, okay. And who are I... the reptiloids? Seriously, you see, you're unaware of the fact oh. that in caves under the earth is an entire civilization of 12 foot blood drinking, shape shifting reptiloids. That control everything. I I had as yet gone through my life avoiding meeting the twelve foot blood drinking reptiloids. That's what you think. You're forgetting shape shifting. Of course I'm forgetting shape shifting. What a fool I've been. How have you? could I possibly have avoided thinking about shape shifting? Clearly I wasn't thinking at all. That's how they work. Uh -huh. Diversion. Have you ever seen, say, a world leader? Reptiloid? Okay. All of them. Right. All of the world leaders are reptiloids. Head of the banks? Reptiloids. reptiloids. Right, I, I believe that in some cases, but... Um, Word to the wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. British royal family. Oh, wow. How do you think the Queen Mother lived so long? Ah, uh, she was pickled. Seriously reptiloid. Right. Okay, now, from my reading of it, okay, mm -hmm. when the Queen Mother was standing next to a doorway, she was only little. Uh, mm -hmm. She was maybe only, blah, you know, four or five foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only little. Mm -hmm. And, um,. You're talking about 12 foot reptiloid squashed into a coin mum. Okay, so clearly yeah. I have to go back to basics with you. Oh, I think that's probably important. The people mm. you see around you mm. can be divided. Three groups. Oh, okay. At the top, All right. controlling. Yes. The brotherhood of the red dress. Oh. These are actually psychic projections of the reptiloids. Right. Like software. Like software. They're not real. Okay. But they make the sheeple believe. The, the sheeple. The sheeple. Uh-huh. The sheep uh -huh. people. The sheep people. And you know within the sheeple who keeps the sheeple dumb? I don't know. The repeaters. The repeaters. They repeat. What the reptiloids want? Have you ever noticed teachers? They tend to repeat what's in their training books. Weird. It's Doctors. like they were setting up students for exams. Yeah, and it doesn't stop there. Oh. Doctors repeat what's in medical textbooks. Like in order to save lives and stuff. To perpetuate the conspiracy. Uh. And the worst repeaters of all. Uh. The journalists, right. they repeat what they see happening. The smallest group at all mm -hmm. is the ones who see what's going on. Oh, of course, and I'm guessing that would be, yeah. Uh -huh. We, we, we're like Neo uh, in the Matrix. Of course you are. We've parted the veil. Whoa. Um, yeah. We spend a lot of time sitting around saying, whoa. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because once you see it, <laughs> once the veil's drawn back, it's so obvious you don't know why you ever didn't believe that uh, reptiloids ran things. Okay, so if the reptiloids are running things, what what do they want? Human blood. Mm hmm. They live off it. Okay. Human suffering. Oh. Negative psychic energy. And that's why they created Judaism, Christianity, Islam, all the religions, to create division, cause war, feed of human suffering. Wouldn't it be just easier to grab a whole bunch of humans and farm them? And that's what they do. 
Okay. You read missing persons report. Oh. Nothing no. innocent. Every single missing person ever taken by the reptiloids. Ah. Okay. Either in the lap. Scapegoat. 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 Totally innocent. Oh. All those backpackers, reptiloids got them. And and the fact that there's a whole bunch of forensic evidence that suggests that they may be hunted down and killed them all. Who put that there? Oh, the, the reptiles. Yeah, right. And okay. the police and are their repeaters. And I'm wondering, you know, these world leaders that are supposedly projections, uh, clever psychic red dress projections, mm -hmm. um, why are they so obviously crap at what they do? Because that's part of the smokescreen the reptiloids put in place. Oh, okay. They set up these terrible situations. They fail completely in their job to administer countries to cause suffering, which the reptiloids feed on. Ah, okay, okay. So, so I'm, I'm now starting to wonder if the reptiloids were so advanced that they could make psychic projections and control the world. Why do they need to keep it a secret? Because the sheeple mm. would rise up against them. That's what people like me, that's what people like David Icke are trying to do to inform the sheeple to rise up against the Illuminati, the Round Table, the Council on Foreign Relations, Chatham House, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderberg Group, the IMF, the UN, and the girl fucking gods. Well, no one's going to take down the girl gods. No, but we're going to try. Well, oh. Boy Scouts, last line of defence. Be prepared, buddy. They mean it. Dib, dib, dib. Dob, dob, motherfucking dob. Mm, mm. Okay, so, I'm just telling you now, out there, Windsor, Rothschild, Rockefeller, Saud, Bush, all reptiloid families. Yep. Okay, and they're all coming for us, and you won't even know they've got you until they're sodomizing you and snorting cocaine off your back at one of their satanic drug and sex orgies. Wow, wouldn't want that to happen. No. If I was specifically going to avoid that, mm -hmm. where would I not go? Stay well away from any federal government buildings. Mm -hmm. United Nations, that's one of their centres. Okay. And like I said, British Royal Family, okay? Buckingham Palace, mm -hmm. riddled with catacombs where they kidnap the kiddies, mm -hmm. sacrifice them, drink their blood, have a drug and sex orgy. Right. Every okay. day. That's what that flag above the party means. The flag above the Buckingham Palace, they say it's about whether the Queen's in residence, it's about who they're rogering. Oh, right, okay. okay. Means there's a sex. If you see any flag at all flying over Buckingham Palace, mm. means there's an orgy happening right that moment. Let me just change where it is right now. Hmm? Um, if I was to take up the good fight, and um, um, what are we all supposed to do once we all become. Uh, once we all become awakened? Right, well, like David Icke. Mm who was famous, famously ridiculed for saying he's the son of God. Y yes, he did say that and was famously ridiculed um, on more than one occasion, as it turns out. Which was, again, part of the reptile plot to discredit him. Of course it was. Because what he really meant right. was that he was an aspect of Godhead. Okay? Oh. Which is far more sane. Okay, sure. So, yeah. basically, when it gets to the point where every single person on earth mm. thinks they are an incarnation of God, mm -hmm. they are basically, may as well be Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then we'll be safe. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen. We had a bit of fun today. We did indeed. We did. Um, I just want to preface that of all the things I was saying in that video, 99% of them are direct quotations from a man called David Icke, and you can find out a lot about him if so disposed. Anyway, um, 
After several discussions, uh, uh, we have uh, come to the uh, simple conclusion that we think that uh, if given the correct setup, you can prove anything is a conspiracy. Absolutely anything. Yeah. In fact, just rehashing David Icke's conspiracies, too easy. We think if you give us three people, any three public figures, uh, three events or landmarks, and three ordinary household objects, we can combine all of those into one unified conspiracy, which will become the conspiracy of the week, maybe, if we can pull them together once a week. If we can pull them together once a week, we will be uh, doing the conspiracy of the week. So we need three public figures, three landmarks or events, and three ordinary household objects. And uh, if you uh, just give us these things, we will uh, pull together uh, the one we think uh, as, uh, you know, probably the most or the least potential and sew together a conspiracy for you. Yes, so stay tuned and by all means feel free to join in uh, either now or once we get it rolling and you get an idea of what we're doing, um, we will uh, air any and all conspiracy theories as video responses. Mm -hmm. So yes, stay tuned, um, get involved. Uh, uh, if, if you know, you know, if you have friends or family who need their minds open to what's really happening in the world, uh, make sure they're seeing the videos today. The more people that are subscribed, um, the better it is for us. Mm -hmm. And we can end up putting more research, resources into our research <laughs> for you. <laughs> And for you. Yeah. So please feel free to uh, uh, comment, rate, and please subscribe, and we will bring you the conspiracies lovingly crafted by our own fair hands. Catch you later.